Good Saturday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. This is your outlook for the weekend, June 27th and 28th, 2014. And uh, much like we talked about the last couple days was with this high pressure that was sitting over New England and what it was going to do. We were talking about the ring of fire here around the high pressure here with sinking air underneath of it. It now appears that this high pressure system is going to be a little bit closer to the coast. So we'll be under the uh, dome of high pressure here where we have the sinking air part. The ring of fire is still here, but I see it's out here further to the west here. So these, this is the area that would be uh, under the gun for showers and thunderstorms, and that's out in western PA. So that's outside of our coverage area here. We're just expecting over our coverage area right in this area here to be high and dry. And that's going to hold through for both Saturday and Sunday, it looks like, as this high pressure is then going to move a little bit further east here. But... This is a look at Sunday uh, Sunday afternoon here, and, and you definitely have, uh, with that high pressure so close to the coast here, again, same deal here. Showers and thunderstorms are st stuck out here around the high pressure, and that ring is like this. So you don't have anything to worry about as far as precipitation or coverage area this weekend. You also have low humidity because with that sinking air, uh, it, also, it is also a dry air mass. So very, uh, you know, low humidity, nice weekend once again. And uh, we get into Monday, we're going to have a, an increase in the precipitation chances as we then have uh, some showers and thunderstorms that are isolated that could come into the picture later in the day. But right now it will be uh, probably when, uh, Monday evening. And one thing we're going to have with this, uh, since this high pressure is going to move further off to the southeast, this direction here, we're going to have an increase in, in the uh, humidity on Monday and also an increase in temperature. So... Uh, definitely, you know, temperatures right around the, in the mid 80s, but a slight increase to the upper 80s as we get into the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. And uh, we're going to have that increase in humidity for those three days, it looks like. As we get into Tuesday, we're going to have to watch this uh, for the timing of this system here because we have a cold front that's going to be moving through here. And uh, right now, it's modeled to be a little bit slower. And if this is the case, it would cut down on severe weather potential. But if this does come in a little bit sooner, we will have to deal with severe weather, we think, or at least strong to severe thunderstorms. And these will be more scattered in nature. So a little bit more widespread with the line of storms coming through here. Again, too early to tell right now whether it's going to be severe or strong or not. At this point, it's going to depend on the timing of the front. And we will look at that, uh, examine that later in the weekend as we get a little bit closer to it. After this uh, cold front moves through, just an isolated chance of a shower and thunderstorm here left over on Wednesday. And then that moves offshore. There's a system to the south here uh, that is a, a tropical in nature, but this is going to stay off, uh, well off the coast. It is not expected to affect our, our coverage area whatsoever. And that's because this uh, cold front that's moving offshore is going to pick this thing up and send it, scoot it off to the northeast pretty rapidly. So no concerns with that uh, from a tropical standpoint in our coverage area. We'll start hearing about the possibility of a tropical system, maybe even a tropical storm down here off the southeastern U U.S. coastline. Oh, but again, once this uh, cold front picks it up here, at this point, it's right here. It just picks this thing up and uh, this system that's down here and just takes it off to rapidly to the northeast and away from our area here. It can't go through the cold front, so we're not really concerned about that. One thing we have to mention here, and this is going outside our normal six-day window, everybody would worry about the 4th of July and what the 4th of July is going to bring. Right now, it looks fantastic. High pressure is going to be setting up right over top of us, and it looks like an excellent day. Uh, for your 4th of July and actually beyond that too the weekend uh, beyond that looks pretty good too with a lower humidity day and temperatures are going to get back into the lower 80s which is near or maybe even slightly below normal temperatures uh, for the 4th of July which is a change usually 4th of July over the over past years nine times out of ten you'll have a big heat wave going with temperatures in the 90s this year will be much more comfortable for your watching uh, for watching the fireworks and for your 4th of July picnic and outdoor activities. I'm Eastern PA Weather 30 meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your weekend outlook for June 27th and 28th, 2014. Have a great weekend.